Ever wondered why we don't run out of oxygen on Earth? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Oxygen Cycle. The oxygen cycle involves the movement of oxygen between biotic, which are living factors, and abiotic, which are non-living factors. The oxygen cycle maintains the level of oxygen in our atmosphere. Processes within this cycle are considered either a source, oxygen production, or a sink, which involves oxygen consumption. But first, where do we find oxygen on Earth? The largest reservoir of the Earth's oxygen is found in the lithosphere. Silicate and oxide minerals of the crust and metal make up large portions of the lithosphere and contain oxygen. The atmosphere is made up of roughly 21% oxygen. The hydrosphere, which is the water on Earth, is 33% oxygen by volume. The biosphere, which is the sum of all ecosystems, is 22% oxygen and is found mainly in organic molecules. Oxygen moves from the atmosphere to the lithosphere and the biosphere. Let's see how oxygen is cycled among these different regions on Earth. Plants, along with phytoplankton and other organisms that carry out photosynthesis, release oxygen into the atmosphere. In fact, marine plants produce most of the oxygen in our atmosphere. Animals, some bacteria and protists, and other organisms that carry out cellular respiration use oxygen in order to create ATP, and they release CO2. Sunlight produces some oxygen when sunlight reacts with water vapor in the atmosphere. Decomposition, which is the breakdown of once living organisms, uses oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. Microbes use oxygen in order to break down the organisms. Rusting, or oxidation, involves oxygen in order to create the rust on many metals. Combustion or burning of objects like coal, wood, or fossil fuels also require oxygen and use some of it up. The oxygen continues to move around the earth from producers to consumers to keep the level in balance. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.